Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a four box break of 2022-23 Bowman University Chrome Basketball. Random letter break number 59. Only a 17 spot break. We're going by the first letter of their first name. So obviously if you get the letter V, yes, Victor Wembenyamas will go to you. Letter C, Caitlin Clarks will go to you. Letter S, Scoot Henderson's. B, Brandon Miller's. So on and so forth. A lot of great letters to get here, but obviously... These two are the main chases. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. We were originally giving away four spots, but for tonight only, we gave, we're gonna give away two extra spots after that. And that inspired this, uh, the last few people, Omar and King D, to get the last few spots. So thank you, thanks for finishing it off. So top six now after, top six after four, two and a two for the hard way. One, two, three, and four. After four times, Chris and James, extra spot, oh, sorry. Chris James, William James, Ryan and King D, extra spots going your way. So we'll put a little rooftop next to your name so you know, so you know uh, that those were your winning spots. You can differentiate it from your other spots. Now let's randomize you a letter. So there should be 17 on each list, right? I think there were 17, 17 here, yeah. Just gotta make sure, boys and girls. All right, let's roll it, let's randomize it. One and a four, five times for names and letters. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five, we got William down to King D. And then one and a four, five times for the letters. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. King D, what are what are you doing for uh, what are you doing for work these days? Same old, same old. Or do I remember you saying you moved on to something else? William with B, Chris with C, James with D, Chris with A, James with the E G combo. William with the WZ combo, James with F, Chris with M, uh, James with J, Omar with R, King D with N, O, Omar with P, Ryan with K, Dan with T, William with L and H, Ryan with S, and King D with the letter F. Let's alphabetize this by first names here. Same old, got it. Oh, that's better. Behind, it's a lot safer behind a desk. All right, there you go, gang. Um, I'm gonna pause for you just for a little bit, see if there's any possible trades, and when we come back, we'll have the four box break. So stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. No deals done. Here in break number 59, so those letters right there remain the same. On a Wednesday, the 18th already? Like we blinked and the half the month is gone. All right, so this is the right case, right? Bowman Chrome University. Yeah. shave two boxes off each column here. So now we have three stacks of four. We're gonna roll the die. We'll go one, two, three, four, and five, six. One, so we're gonna do that side right there and these we will save for some other time. I think this kind of moved a little slowly. I think we'll save these for another day. But we'll save those for some other time. This we'll do this time. All right, good luck everybody. Basketball season is around the corner. How's everyone feeling about their basketball team? I'm a Lakers fan. 
um, as most of you know. And so for the first time in a long time, there are two things that that I haven't said, even during the heyday, I feel like I've been, well, in recent memory. Depth and continuity are two words I've not been able to say about the Lakers roster. But the Lakers roster have continuity. They're bringing a majority of the players from last year back. I think after the trading deadline, they had one of the best winning percentages in basketball. Small sample size over 20, 25 games. But, but they did keep retain most of those players. Added a couple of great pieces, some depth as well. And, uh, you know, some, some backups for, for the inevitable Anthony Davis, <laughs> LeBron James injury. So some depth there and some evolutions of some, you always want to see some young players evolve. So we're seeing the evolution of Austin Reeves. We're seeing the evolution of Rui Hachimura. We're seeing the evolution of Max Christie. You know, so we're seeing a lot of youngsters evolve. So that's very encouraging. You know, so yeah, a lot of you got to be excited about the Rockets. There's there's a lot of young faces out there. Isn't Van Vliet on that team as well? I feel like he's helped some of the guys around him too. I think I saw the Rockets in summer league, and some of the young guys on there looked really good in Vegas. I mean, preseason is kind of weird, Duncan, but. But I feel like initial rotations have looked pretty good. I think the Lakers, the third thing that I feel like the Lakers have that I think they've never had in a long time is three-point shooting. Um, I feel like they're finally catching up with modern, the, with the way modern-day basketballs play. They finally have some three-point shooters. That should help with spacing. I'm pretty bullish on, on Max Christie, Omar. I feel like he is going to ball out. Are these refractors numbered? No. There's Aaliyah Boston. And our first auto is Seth Trimble. Two autos a box. Orange Shimmer autograph to 25. That will be for the letter S. Ryan Presnell with that one. Yeah, Max Christie working on his three-point shot or working on consistency from three-point. Our first Caitlin Clark for, for Chris in letter C. And uh, he bulked up a little bit too, Omar. Looks like he added on some muscle is what he was saying. I also saw a little bit of his play in Vegas Summer League and... I feel like he looked pretty good. I'm encouraged. And I, I don't know if he's going to immediately do this, but I feel like if maybe there's a... There's a... It's Caroline Descharme to 199 for the letter C. So I feel like if... Uh, you know, but I feel like at some point, middle of the season, he may start... If he makes the most of his opportunities, he'll start making... Getting more and more minutes. It's kind of what Austin Reeves did throughout the season. I, I kind of want to see that with Max Christie. I mean, I guess the problem is we have, do have a lot of depth. That's better for Max Christie. He doesn't have to be the guy from the get-go. They don't have to rely on him to score. But if he can come off the bench and add a spark, you know, maybe get 10, 15 minutes a night, think at 15, 20 minutes a night. You know, that would be that would be pretty awesome. Here's a Colin Chandler. Another letter C. For Chris. Grady Dick is supposed to be who did he get drafted by? The Raptors, I think? Yeah, Grady Dick is a Toronto Raptor. This this will go to letter G, James with with G. He's supposed to be really good. I mean, the ho hope springs eternal for all of these youngsters. It's Jalen Hood, Shafino, and Avery Anderson. 
is our second autograph. That's for Chris in the letter A. You know, this is another Laker youngster that may hopefully climb up the ranks a little bit, which would be nice. It's for James in the letter J. So again, depth is another thing that I feel like the Lakers have lacked for a while, and the, the fact that they finally have that is, uh, you know, just see a better brand of basketball, a more consistent brand of basketball. Remember, at the start of last season, Russell Westbrook was still on the team, and there was just a lot. Just the season just never started off on the on the right foot. I think, you know, they were not playing a good brand of basketball. But now, pretty much the same team after the trade deadline. You get a whole off season together. Darvin Ham is, uh, you know, you get a he's in his sort of second year as a head coach, so he's he's more comfortable now as a coach, coaching. I uh, would have loved to see Hawkins draft. But I feel like Lakers fans are excited. Omar, you're excited, right? I feel like I, I feel like I feel like I feel I feel better about going into this season than I have in a, in a long time. <laughs> D'Angelo Russell talking about playing defense. What? I'll, I'll that I'll I'll believe when I see during regular season games, but. I like that he's thinking about it, though. I guess the, for, the, for the Lakers, the rest of it is just... Yeah, hell, I was just, that's what I was going to say, Omar. The, 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 now, the only thing, I guess this is with every team, but, but our team more so than others. Anthony Davis just needs to stay healthy, you know. And he just needs to, or, or just stay healthy for the postseason. Get your injury in the, in the regular season, that's fine. We need you 100% in the post. For, for the most part, he was last year, which was, which was good. And LeBron needs to stay healthy. And that's just because you know, of age. But I wonder if with the depth of this team, with the strength of this team, might mean more blowouts for, you know, Lakers might be blowing out bad teams, which means if LeBron can sit for like the last 10 minutes of, of games like that, that would be great. You know, we don't need him to play 40 minutes a night. If we can get those, uh, the, the usage down a little bit, if we get those minutes down a little bit, that'd be awesome. So I'm excited about that. I think last, there's Marcus Sasser. I think the last uh, preseason game, at least for the Lakers, is tomorrow. And then the regular season starts next week. Marcus Sasser, uh, late first round pick with the Pistons. Trace Walker is supposed to be a strong player as well. Trace Walker was your, I think it was top 10 pick, right? Eighth overall pick. Went to the Pacers. Pacers might have a low key, young, and exciting team to watch. We got Keyshawn Barthelme, Blue Ray Wave, 
for letter K, that's going to be for, for Ryan. That's to 199. There's a Brandon Miller. That Bowman Invicta card's a slightly thicker card stock. That's for William in the letter B. And we got a Brandon Slater for the letter B. Purple parallel, 009 out of 399. Jaden chewed those purple shimmers, not numbered. And there's our second autograph, Sky Clark. Yeah, if some of you might have noticed that card, Hansel Emanuel. Yeah, guys that plays with one arm. Did he get did he get picked up by a team? It is it is pretty amazing. All right, another couple boxes here. What's harder, pitching with one hand like Jim Abbott or dribbling and shooting with one arm like Hansel Emanuel? Or there's a uh, Shaquille or Shaquem. I know they're, the brothers are on that who play football. One of the, one of those brothers has doesn't have uh, the one a uh, hand plays defense. It's all hard. But if we were to split hairs, what what would the hardest be? It's gotta be basketball, right? Well, cause what would, would baseball you have a tool to work with. You have a glove, you have a bat, right? And so so you could Jim Abbott was able to switch hands. Right? So so then he can put you know, and then play defense as well. I guess it would be the dribbling and shooting. I would think has to has to be more difficult. But for him, I mean if he's I think he was born with that. It was Sakeem Griffin, right? Um, was born with that. Uh, yeah, you know. It's not any harder or easier. That's all he knows. To him. Another Brandon Miller. And a Drew Timmy. Where did Drew Timmy end up? Did he get drafted? 170 out of 199, that'll be for James in the letter D. Another Brandon Miller for William in the letter B. Abbott was born with that condition too, right? Jim Abbott? 
Yeah, I think if you're born into that situation, you know, that's just your life. So I think he's, uh, oh, he, so Emmanuel Hans is still playing college basketball. Right? He's a baller, though. Yeah. I mean, you learn, right? I mean, you just learn to... I want, but I don't, I mean, I don't know if, you, if it's even learning. If he's born with it, then that's all you know, so... Oh, yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. So, I mean, like, because Rex was asking, what would be harder, playing basketball? Or being like Jim Abbott with one hand, yeah. or like but you basically with knowing one. that this is how you're gonna have to play. So it. you don't know any better. Yeah, you don't know any better. Yeah, so then that's so like I don't think it's hard. So imagine if we're thinking of it as as humans with two hands, yeah, thinking, boy, so it'd be hard if we lost it's one like hand. Him, right? How good would he be if he had two correct hands, two arms? You know, it's like dude. so like yeah, I don't think we can even imagine what that would be like. We're thinking of it as what if we had. You know, both able arms, and then, you know, and then those were one of them was gone. We think about how do we have to adjust? How hard would our lives be? Yeah, it would be hard for us if it happened in the middle of our lives. But for the guys that were born with it, yeah. that's all they know. So then, so it's like, well, it's not hard or easy. This is just, it's just, uh, it's just how life was. That's how I, that's how I grew up. But then from a sporting angle, yeah, I mean, I feel like hoops would be pretty hard if you're, if you only have the use of one hand, but so it's amazing that he's doing what he's doing. I hope he does get drafted. Hansel Emanuel, yeah, right there. Different if, like, uh, he had it, if he had and then lost it, then yeah, yeah then yeah, yes. To, like, relearn. to relearn things, that would be super difficult, you know. But he he lost his left arm in a childhood accident, says on the back of the card. Oh. But even at childhood, you could still adjust. Yeah, yeah. It's not like if you lost it in college, that would be a huge. That would be something else. Yeah. But but That's you know. Like shit, yeah, but children they can adapt to almost. Almost anything. There's Adam Flagler. Letter A, Chris. So, pretty amazing. All right, fourth and final box. Good luck, everybody. No, uh, I think one Kalen base card. No Wembenyamas. But fingers crossed. You never know. What can pop out of these? This is why we do it. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, as we like to say. You have to at least explore. Just like life, you're just not gonna be handed hits, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, we gotta work for it sometimes. We gotta grind through some, some, uh, some bad boxes to get to the good boxes, some soft boxes to get to the badass boxes, you know, and take, take some time. But hopefully this, this box could yield something really nice. That would be nice to see. This will be the last break of the night. We're fast approaching the top of the hour, but I appreciate everybody getting into this. Um, Jay, you'll be on tomorrow, right? Yeah. Jason will be on. Uh, he's, he's wrapping up the night on Fanatics Live tonight. He'll be on tomorrow, 3 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock Eastern for, uh, for the YouTube stream. I'm sure he'll get more Gilded done. And there's some other stuff on the site that he can work on as well. I'm sure Nick will add some more stuff to the site as well. And then you'll see me with Chris Jaspi on the Fanatics Live stream in the other studio, just on the other side of that wall right there. Same time, 3 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock Eastern. So once again, before I sign off, that gold, uh, gold, that gilded is going to be turned into a, uh, a random number block. Kind of a large random number block, but, but we got overnight to sell it. So that's why we're going to do it. But get your teams down if you want to before that happens. If you're sitting on a team or thinking about it, 
Now's the time to get it before it's popped into a filler. And there's Posh Alexander. 182 out of 299. Posh Alexander, it's like a spice girl. I seen the whole back of the series over earlier. Not not pictured is uh, Posh Alexander. Not pictured is Baby Alexander, Sporty Alexander, Scary Alexander. It's 299. There's Posh Alexander for the letter P. Uh, that would be for Omar. Omar is coming. So Brandon Miller and a Felix Okbara. Should I punch a hole through that? I don't. I don't want to scare Michael there <laughs> by punching a hole through this wall to say hello. That's just an expensive wall too. Although no, this is the wall we. This is not the original structure. This is the wall we put up, so I guess I could punch through it. Did we? Yeah, isn't this a wall? Yeah, this is a wall that... The top one we did, but I thought these... I thought these oh, no, maybe this is the main wall. These are always studios, yeah. The top... Oh, but we, the ceiling here, we... Yeah, the roof we did. It was the other room where we... Yeah, okay, it was the Instagram room where we added... Yeah, that one we did. No, I can't punch through this wall. There are other walls in this store that we could probably punch through, but... But not... No, not this one. There's an Invicta Brandon Miller going to William. But I don't know. I mean, one of some of these walls, I could I could burst right through like the Kool Aid Man. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! There's a Derek Lively the second. And we got an Invicta autograph of Chris Livingston. Chris Livingston, I presume. Chris Livingston, let's see where he, he is. Chris Livingston, an American basketball player for the Milwaukee Bucks. A second round pick. Marinate behind uh, all the good players on that Bucks team. Keep an eye on him. Another Caitlin Clark. Got a Roddy Gale Jr. And another autograph, Tyrese Proctor. It's going to be so Chris will go to Chris, Chris Livingston will go to Chris M. And Tyrese Proctor will go to letter T, Dan Tyson. With Tyrese, Kalen will go to Chris as well. And there's Jared McCain, 153 out of 399. And there's Tyga Campbell. The purple mini diamonds will go to the letter J, that'll be for James. All right, there you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.